Welcome to the Luxygen channel, the exciting space where people go to get their fix in the Luxygen world of billionaires, luxury, finance, and inspirational fulfillment. Be sure to like, smash the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel as we will be uploading Luxygen rich videos frequently. In today's video, we'll discuss how high future skyscrapers can be built. Did you know that a structure taller than Mount Everest is being planned? with a capacity of up to 30 million people? How much higher do you think we can go now? Let's start the countdown for 5 modern day towers of Babel and get this video started. Number 5. Exceed 4000 The Taisei Corporation came up with the concept for the Exceed 4000 tower in 1995 as a novel solution to generate more homes in Japan. It would be taller than Mount Fuji with a height of 4 kilometers or two and a half miles. The idea was to establish a city within a structure, complete with shopping malls and grocery stores, so people would never have to leave. The building would be large enough to house up to one million people. The goal of the project was to inspire others to build more unorthodox towers powered by renewable energy. The Taisei Corporation intended to run the tower entirely on solar power yet they were unsure how they would obtain such a large amount of energy. The architects planned for the skyscraper to be built on the Pacific Ring of Fire in order to accommodate the wide foundation required for such a structure. The Exceed 4000 would be the world's tallest and most costly skyscraper if built, with a price tag of $900 billion. According to some estimates, the building costs might be as high as $1.7 trillion. The structure would be composed of 3 million tons of steel, enough to construct 300 Eiffel Towers. At the same time, the Exceed 4000 would take an undetermined period of time before becoming a reality because the architects believe a project of this size is not yet feasible, despite allegations that the Taisei Corporation was working on the Exceed 4000 as early as 2007. Before they can embark on such a large project, the corporation indicated that some hitches must be ironed out. Number 4. Tokyo Tower of Babel The Tokyo Tower of Babel, another city within a skyscraper, was conceived in 1992. It was first presented at the Global Environment Summit in Brazil by Waseda University's Toshio Ojima Laboratory. It would be even taller than Mount Everest and even higher than the usual airline flight at a height of 10 kilometers or 33,000 feet. That means the skyscraper would be the world's tallest object, not just the tallest tower. Architects would need a base of roughly 4,100 square kilometers to construct such a lofty tower. That's more than double the size of Houston, Texas. The structure would be huge enough to house 30 million people once completed. The Japanese economy collapsed during the projected construction period. Therefore, the structure never saw the light of day, despite the fact that the country has subsequently recovered. The concept appears to be too expensive to ever become a reality. The Tokyo Tower of Babel would cost almost $306 trillion to build, and it would take up to 150 years to finish. Number 3. The Burj Khalifa The Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest skyscraper, stands at 828 meters just over 2,720 feet, in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Construction began in 2004 with the goal of increasing tourism in the country. The $1.5 billion skyscraper is mostly used as a residential structure with hotel rooms, but it has much more to offer. It includes one of the tallest observation decks in the world, as well as the world's second largest choreographed fountain, just outside the entrance. The tower was completed in 2009 after a five-year building period and officially opened to the public in 2010. Even taller skyscrapers than the one we have now will be challenging to construct. Most countries have government-imposed building height restrictions and there must be sufficient flat and available space, as well as sufficient cash to construct a new tower from the ground up. Nonetheless, with the Jeddah Tower under development, the globe may soon see a new super tall building. The Jeddah Tower could be the first skyscraper to reach a height of one kilometer. 
While this may appear to be a large number, the tower would be insignificant in comparison to some of the other skyscrapers discussed later in the video. Unfortunately, a few big complications have already arisen with the building. The project was halted in 2017 when some significant investors pulled out, including the detention of Prince Al Walid bin Talao, who was caught up in a massive corruption scandal by the Saudi Arabian government. After the investors were released a few months later, the skyscraper still had issues. Transportation to such a height is restricted vertically. Furthermore, Architects are still working on a design, and materials are being collected to prevent the skyscraper from wobbling in the wind. This mega tower is now competing with the Burj Khalifa, but much taller skyscrapers are on the way. Number 2. Space Elevator The space elevator concept has been in the works since 1895 when Russian scientist Konstantin Cholkovsky proposed it. It was supposed to be a tower with a height of over 35,800 kilometers, according to him. There was no material available at the time with sufficient compressive energy for such a project. Other interested in building a space elevator have concentrated on tensile construction since the 20th century. Many different companies have been competing to be the first to effectively implement their vision for this project. But the premise is essentially the same for all of them. A counterweight, such as an asteroid or a climber willing to make the voyage up the rope, would be included in the elevator. There are also questions about what kind of material would be strong enough to employ, with some speculating on diamond nanothreads as a potential source. Others argue that graphene, a carbon-based substance that can sustain cable tension, should be used. It will be difficult to complete the research because scientists will have to consider many different elements. Space debris could potentially destroy the elevator and finding enough material to construct the lift at such a high altitude could be problematic. This project has a slew of technological challenges, not to mention a 10 billion price tag. However, scientists at Japan's Shizuoka University are already undertaking tests to investigate how the elevator would work on a smaller scale. According to reports, the Tokyo-based Obayashi Corporation expects a space elevator to be completed by 2050. Some believe that they can do even better, with Chinese developers claiming that their elevator will be ready by 2045. Number 1. The Launch Loop Keith Lofstrom initially described the launch loop in the American Astronautical Newsletter in 1981, demonstrating that the sky isn't the limit when it comes to future structures. A series of cables connected to the Earth would form the loop. It would use a magnetic levitation mechanism similar to that used by the Shanghai Transrapid Trains to launch things into space. It would take a journey of 2,000 kilometers, or 1,240 meters, to reach the place above the atmosphere and back. That's 80 times higher than the height at which airplanes fly. It could launch vehicles into orbit without the use of a rocket if it is successful. If it succeeds, it will be possible to send vehicles into space without the use of a rocket, clearing the door for space tourism and exploration. If you were lucky enough to ride the loop, you could reach speeds of up to 14 kilometers per second. There are still several things scientists need to concentrate on before the loop can become a reality. The cost of only one year of operation would be almost 10 billion US dollars, and the technology to produce the launch loop is still being researched. It would be extremely difficult to develop the magnetic levitation technology required for the project. Furthermore, in order to begin construction, researchers would need to select a location where the launch loop could be stationed that was not densely populated. And that's it for this video. Here at Lexigen Channel, we wish all of you a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday Season, as we ring in New Year 2022. Stay tuned to the Lexigen Channel, where we will feature more content about living life luxuriously. Don't forget that by liking this clip, as well as subscribing within our channel, and clicking on that notification bell button, not only are you helping us grow, but also other people around the world.